Yay! I found one! Now all I gotta do is catch it. So, we're gonna do one stomp and hope that it doesn't knock it out. Good. Go ahead. Do Fairy Wind. Do whatever you need to. Just don't kill me. And don't die. Please, Ponytail. I really want you on our team. You're really cute. Alright, uh... I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try a Pokeball. Let's try Pokeballs here. You got plenty of Pokeballs. I really want a pony, guys. I really, really want a pony. I want a pony. I want a pony. Yes! <laughs> we got one! Yes! Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Shield version on the Nintendo Switch. And in the last episode, we arrived in the Glimwood Tangle looking for a ponyta, and also trying to make our way out of the Glimwood Tangle and onto Balon Lee for the fifth gym. And the Beast is level 36, Toxica is level 37, and no, I'm not letting him learn Amnesia. So I did a little bit of changing around just to get some, some of the people that are in the box a little bit of experience. Unique Horn Pokemon. Uh, she's so gorgeous. I'm going to name her Twilight. Isn't that one of the My Little Ponies? I don't watch the show, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is because I, I saw it battle somebody. I think it was. I think it battled Raven from Teen Titans on Death Battle. I think it's Twilight Sparkle, is I think the name of it. Alright, so let's see what Twilight's stats are. Oh, yes, and I, I put Finbar in here because he really, really sucks. Uh, I got him at level 31 in a Wonder Trade. He's not the same one that we had. that we had been raising from the beginning of the game. So, he doesn't know any water-type moves, like, at all, and the only way that I could have taught him more is by going back to the bin, or by going back to the Pokemon Center and then, like, tutoring him new moves. Like, look at this, he goes Splash, Tackle, Flail, and Bite. He doesn't know a single stab move, and I don't have any moves that he can learn other than Scald, but why would you teach a Gyarados Skull? Look at his special attack, he is definitely a physical attacker. Okay, so... Let's, uh, let's do this here, and check your summary. Run away. Yeah, it figures as much. I end up with a crappy ability on a otherwise good Pokemon. Her physical attack is a lot higher than I thought it would be. But those are pretty decent stats. I don't know if we really need to breed one. <laughs> but it might be fun. Plus, I might get better ones, so I might get one with Pestile Veil, which I think would be a much more useful ability than Runaway. Um, so we're going to keep looking until we find a male, and then the daughter or son of it, because I don't really care. You can have male, you can have like a majestic male horse, or you can have like a, a pretty female horse like that one. So we're going to keep going until we can find a second one, I think. I think we should breed them. Didn't take that long to find, but you can't find them wandering around in the wild. You can only find them in uh, encounters where you see the little like exclamation mark, and the uh, the spawn rate is like it's pretty bad. It's oh no 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 oh my god Ashton Jesus that scared me oh my god I didn't think of that uh, okay run away Ashton oh my goodness that could have been really really bad. Okay, okay. Apparently, Ashton is a really slow horse. I, I looked at his stats and I was like, just disgusted at how slow he is. I mean, he's a ground type, so I, I kind of expected it, but I figured that because he's a horse, he would be fast. But, like, look at that. His speed is absolutely garbage. He is like the worst speed stat out of anyone in my entire party. Except for Snorlax, but that's what you would expect to be. It's like, isn't he based on a horse? I mean, I guess he's based on a Clydesdale, which might be more based on power than speed. But still, they're, they're, he's like one of the horses in Skyrim that are known more for their stamina than speed. Which is why I never ride horses in Skyrim, because it's faster to walk or run. Or fast travel, obviously. Okay, so for now we're gonna leave him in front, but man, that was close. That could have ended really, really badly. 
Ooh, another one! Yay! Okay, so let's see what this one is. A male. Perfect. Now, let's do another stomp. Oh, how nice! It was gonna heal me! But I'm already healed, so it does not matter. Regular Pokeball, go! Pretty easy to catch, so I'm not worried. The other one just kind of went in the ball, so whatever. Alright, so we've got two, and now we're just gonna leave here. And we're gonna head to Balon Lee, and then I will use the flying taxis, oops, to uh, get to the other area where that we wanted to be in. Shinotek has some shiitake mushrooms. Run away! I don't want to deal with that. I'm running away. Run away! Run to the hills. Dum 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 dum. -dum. Run for your Life! Do 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 do. Alright, let's do a double battle with these two, and then we'll GTFO this forest and get to Balon Lee, which is also very, very pretty full. A daring couple, Jacqueline and Robert. Nine tails and a Curlia. So sweet. Shigadish, shigadish. Alright, so for the Curlia. We're gonna do a little bit of. Uh, we're gonna go high horsepower on the Nine Tails, and we're gonna do a metronome on yourself. And used incinerate, but we don't have berries, so it didn't doesn't matter. It it does not make a difference at this point. Disarming voice. Whoa! Boom! It's so easy to avoid, though. It's such a weak attack. But it never misses, so that is pretty cool. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so much damage. Oh, goodbye, Ninetales. It's been a pleasure battling with you tonight. Except not really, because you kind of suck. Go, beast! What do you got for us? Dragon Tail! Oh man, that would have been so cool, though, if it wasn't a fairy type. Damn, that sucks. Alright, try it again, then, beast. He's too beefy. You're never gonna take out the beast. See, like, that was a critical hit, and it barely did anything. Oh, yes. So satisfying. One good hit is all it needs. Yes. The beast. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. Good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. What? What does that have to do with anything? I'm so confused. Okay, now we're gonna go up here and GTFO because Balon Lee is just up there. Find your way through Glimwood Tangle to reach Balon Lee. So pretty. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'd love to live in a city like that. Alright, let's head over here. And we're gonna do some healing and all that good stuff. And now that we're here, we might be able to teach what's his name, uh, Finbar, some decent water moves. Because I don't have the waterfall TM, which is one of the better moves that he can learn. Actually, he might learn it naturally. Remember a move. And we're gonna do Finbar. You select. Yeah, there we go. Waterfall. Definitely. Get rid of Splash. God, yes. Um, and... Select. We will do... Ice Fang. Do that. Yes. And we will do... Finbar again. And I'm gonna teach him Brine, because I might as well teach him something. Anything is better than the garbage that he has already.
Does it not learn? Does it not learn Dragon Rage anymore? There we go. Lovely. And now I can actually use it in battle. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty cool. All of a sudden he went from sucking ass to being just a little bit underleveled. It's it's a miracle. Alright, change markings, because I actually was ready to give up on him, but I have changed my mind. And we're going to swap him out with Quincy. Who has the thingy then? Oh, I didn't give it to him. Alright, give item. Uh, sea incense. Give to Pokemon. Huzzah! Awesome. Now we're gonna go here. Sweet. And Finbar can go over here. The Beast can go over here. Cuddles can go over there. Ashton can come up here, and then Pyrrha can go there. Lovely. All right, now let's do some selling. I'm here to sell, and I do not need this, and I don't need this, don't need this. Uh, what else do we got in here? Any berries that I can get rid of? No. Uh, let's sell two of these. Don't need this. Don't need these. Yeah, I got lots and lots and lots of money. It's good. Alright, we're gonna go nine. And then we're gonna do seven. Let's get ten potions here, and five of these. Outstanding. Now then, now that that is done... Ooh, there's stuff to gather here before we head out. We're definitely not doing the gym right away, but we don't... We also don't want to skip this part, because there are good things to gather up here. It's not a very large town, but it is a very pretty town. What is? The, why is there a random Chin Chow up there? Really? I came all this way for frickin' rest? The move that literally every Pokemon in the game can learn? It's like the Toxic. It's, it's like Toxic, except useless. Alright. So, bag. Got ourselves another useless TM. So, like, payday. Nobody can learn- oh, T Pira can learn it, and the Beast can learn it. But it sucks, it's only got 40 power. Rest, Snore, Scary Face, Charm, Attract, Whirlpool, Beat Up, Will-O-Wisp, Sand Tomb, Payback, Hex, Retaliate, Electro Web, Tail Whip, or Tail Slap. These all suck, these are garbage TMs. Even if any of the Pokemon in my party could learn them, I wouldn't bother, because they all suck. And the mall's going to be open in 11 minutes. So we're going to do that, and then once I, you know, which, when once we read our, reach our quota, then I'm going to go to the mall, and then I'll come back and do another episode. But until then, it is time to go to the nursery. But I haven't been to the nursery, so I can't fly directly to it, but we can do this. It's because I haven't dealt with the nursery. I guess I have to leave a Pokemon there. Because I've gone inside it, which is where we got... What's her name from? Uh, Toxica, but... Apparently, uh, I don't have the ability to go inside it right now. So, check summary. Uh, and we're gonna do... E... Uh, this? Yeah, we gotta do this part here. So, Toxic goes here, this goes here. Alright, that's better. Moving on. Alright, 
Oh, we're ready then. So here's the daddy, and here's the mommy. A thousand dollars? Ha! Got enough to do that like 40, 409, 409 more times. No, 489 more times. And while it's doing that, we're gonna go check over here because there should be some new shiny things that we can gather. This is one of my favorite areas to raise Pokemon. I, I love just doing the running back and forth part of this. It's, it's better on the bike, but I'll, 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 I'll like do this. I'll leave Pokemon, then I do this whole track on my bike sometimes. It's even it's even good for hatching Pokemon. It helps if you've got a, one of those caracals with um, with flame body because it like doubles the, the time it takes to hatch eggs. But I didn't feel like leveling up uh, that thing, and it might not even have flame body. It might have a different ability. Or mag I, I don't know if magma armor does it. I think magma armor just means you can't freeze it. I don't remember exactly which is which. But these feathers actually boost your uh, Pokemon's affection really good. And they're really plentiful. There's all kinds of them around here. And they're, so, and they're significantly cheaper than the, uh, the, the proteins and things. Like, I was doing a friendship evolution in a previous playthrough trying to get myself an Umbreon. Cause I, no, it was an, uh, no, it was a, a Sylveon. Because I, I decided that I wanted to have, like, every every Eeveelution, just, like, to collect them all for the Pokedex. And I gave an Eevee, like, all the balloon, all of the, all of the feathers that I found on this, on this bridge while I was waiting for that particular egg to hatch. And then I leveled it up after, like, doing one thing of camping. And then, all of a sudden, it was ready. And it evolved. All right, now I need to do this, and we need to uh, take somebody out of the party. Let's do this. Yeah, Ringo is down here for obvious reasons. He's too strong right now. Let's take out Cuddles. I don't really need him right now. We'll put in Excalibur, and then we'll take out Pyrrha and put the egg in there. Lovely. And we're just gonna put you down here. Yeah, cool. I like how Excalibur's got exactly 100 HP. It's very satisfying to me. I think we can probably spin, you know, use these to uh, beef him up a little bit. We'll give him this. We'll give him that. We'll give him these. Oops. We'll give him this. We'll give him these. Yeah, lovely. And we're gonna give you that so that it'll boost your steel type moves. So the egg will actually put like this. I don't know if it actually does anything putting it in between like this, but now it's time to hatch the pony toss. So let's see how many times I can make it back and forth on the bridge before the egg hatches. It wouldn't be a Pokemon playthrough with me if there wasn't some episode where I have to hatch at least one egg. That's one. Um, oh, there's something here. And there's something... Oh, two. Oh, wait, that's a health feather. We can give that to him, to what's-his-name, too. Excalibur! It just raised his base stat. It didn't raise his actual amount. This would be three. Come on! Push! 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 Four. Once we get to the end, anyway. Four. 
Shouldn't take very many. I think my average is like six or seven. Five. That's the sound of me getting an email. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> Six. Okay, and we'll uh, see if we can do this here. A seven. I have no idea what the uh, egg hatch rate is going to be. Oh, there we go. So that was like seven and a quarter. Alright, hatch. Hatch. Hatch! Go for it! Yes! Oh, I love the way it glows with its, its pretty mane. It's so pretty. Alright, now, are you a boy or are you a girl? You're a girl! Lovely! We will name you Twilight again. Actually, let's name you Sparkle, because your mommy was Twilight. Sparkle. Now, do you have Pastille Veil, or do you have... Do you have Runaway? I think it's always going to have Runaway, because I think it's because it's going to be that her mom had it. So, if we can't get Pastille Veil, I'll just deal with it. Whatever. But at the very least, there is an incense that we can buy that boosts psychic moves. Uh, let me just check and see here. No, I don't want the egg. I'd like to take back my Pokemon. Take back Ponyta. And we'll take back Twilight. Alright, now let's do Pokemon check. Probably because both of their abilities are the same with Runaway. Yeah, that's probably why. But that's okay. It's not a huge deal. Okay, so we're going to release you and we're going to release you too. You've served your purposes. We don't need you anymore, GTFO. Now we're gonna do some markings and we can beef up you later on. But I think now would be a good time to go do some max raids because uh, it doesn't matter if I if anybody faints during max raids, so there's no pressure. I can just have a little bit of fun. Go exploring and all that fun stuff. Because rare candies and all that good stuff is really kind of required. Oh, but before we do that, I forgot that I should do what I usually do. Which, in this case, is uh, do this. One, two. Put you four over there. And we're going to go do camping. In the middle of a sandstorm. Because sandstorms are just sandstorms. Like, what's the worst that's going to happen, right? Apparently you can die in sandstorms. They're no laughing matter. Come here, shiny. Come here. Play with me. People are always making a big complaint about how it's hard to raise the affection of your Pokemon in, in, in games to get, like, Friendship Evolution. In this game, and Gen 7, it's ridiculously easy. Because all you do is do this a couple of times, and it's super easy. It's even easier in this one because there's no restrictions on it. In 7, you had to feed them, and it takes a lot longer to level them up. But in this one, usually you do... You, you, you play with them three times and cook them two meals, and then that's it. And then they'll evolve. That's all it is. And you can do all of that in one sitting, and it takes like 20 minutes, maybe. So first we're going to play with you. And then we're going to go find Sparkle and play with her. Oh, the mall's all open. How's, how about that? I'm gonna go there after this episode. Okay. 
come on. Look at her, she's galloping majestically in the background. Sparkle is so pretty. Come here, Twilight. I mean, Sparkle. I got a pony! <laughs> She's so adorable! I love it! I think this alone was worth the, the price of Pokemon Shield, guys. I'm in love with this Ponyta. It's the sequel to Queen's Song, I'm in love with my car. I saw the Bohemian Rhapsody movie a couple of nights ago for the first time, and I was like, is that a real song? It's a real song. I'm in love with my car. And they wanted to make I'm in love with my car the single on the same album on the Night at the Opera album. Because there has never been a six minute single before. But the single was Bohemian Rhapsody, and that's like the greatest song ever. Come on, Ponyta. Love me. Love me. I know you can do it. I know you want to. You know you want to. I know you want to. You know we're great for each other. Let's just make this happen. There. That's it. Now. Cooking. Start cooking. Alright. Let's make some... Uh, let's make some salad. I'm going to use all of my grappa berries, because it says right there that it's great for salad. I like how the Gyarados is just floating there. I guess that's why they make him... I guess that's why they consider him to be a flying type. Because he can levitate like that. But he's not a bird. He can't learn fly. And the flames! Fan the flames! Let's do it! Let's do it! Why do you need to stir soup to make salad? You just put salad dressing on it. It already comes in a little bag with all the ingredients in it. But no, you, you make salad curry, not salad. And I don't think the word it should be capitalized in that sentence. The word it at the end would be because it's the last word of a sentence, but... Of a title, I mean. Done! Now let's see, how did we do here? See, look! Salad curry! <laughs> She's so cute! Oh my god, I love this ponyta! Cabaracha class! Hells yeah! Gained a lot of experience points. Alright, now we're gonna do some more playing. I'm gonna fast forward through this part in the editing. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? Get back here. Fenbar, get back here right now, young man. You and I have some playing to do. Get back here. Thank you. Yes, doing that on purpose by putting the controller right by it.
Okay. Now it's time for Sparkle. Come here, little girl. Come here. She's so adorable. Oh my god. Cuteness overload. Cuteness overload! Interesting how the sandstorm is completely gone now that we're camping here. Okay, time to do one last thing of cooking before we leave. So let's make another salad, but this one we're gonna make it be... Oh, I don't have enough cherry berries for that. What do, what do I have? Let's use some more orange berries then. Probably still make it a copper aja thing. I've never made a third level class food thing. I don't know what kind of ingredients you would need, but never managed to do it before. Alright, stir this up, here we go. Oops, I'm stirring too fast. There, that's better. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. There we go, yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's working! It's working! My brilliant plan is all coming into place. Ha ha! Yes! Awesome. Look how happy they both are. Salad curry, again. Let's see what I get here. Nope, just a regular one. Just the milk curry. There's also a wab effect, which I think is one level lower. But I don't know. Let's see how we... Let's see how much experience Sparkle gets. 271? That's it? That's it? Tail whip, keep old moves. Aqua Tail! Ah, oh, yes! Hells yeah! Let's get this, uh... Give it a brine here. Now he's immediately better. Anyway, folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Uh, by the time the next episode starts, I'll probably go ahead and uh, take the time to uh, properly level up Sparkle so that she'll be ready to go for the Balan Lee level, the Balan Lee Gym Leader. And uh, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. I'm having a lot of fun. This is so far becoming a pretty, pretty cool uh, playthrough. Despite all the deaths and hardships that we've had, I'm thinking this is going to be one of my best playthroughs to date. So, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope to see you right back here in the very near future for more Pokemon Shield and our Half-Lock Challenge. And until next time, peace out. And as always, game on. See ya!